All right, just got off the phone with uh, with Ben Sports News. Not ready for the summer, apparently. But getting a studio for the January? I told him it's not good enough. He said, Ben, it'll be fine. Do a transfer bonanza. You've done those before. I was like, hmm, transfer bonanza. All right, I will do. So after this, after this little intro, it's time for a transfer bonanza. Look forward. Three, two, one, go. Right then, let's get into this transfer bonanza, as it's been a transfer bonanza. It sounds exciting, doesn't it? We'll start with some free transfers then. Lots of new names have come in, 14 to be exact. And the free transfers then, starting off with the goalkeepers. Samir Ujkani, the player that we've had already on loan, is now a free transfer signing and will be our number one this season. Vladimir Stojkovic was signed and then unable to be registered. The 35-year-old is on £4,000 a week. It's annoying. Anyway, alongside him, Luca Barloco at left back. Obviously, a player that you would probably recognise from last year. And Marco Chosa, I think you'd say, a central defender. Very, very good. You can see his attributes there looking fantastic. The better players, I will actually show you how good they are. He is one of those and looks fantastic to be brought in. Uh, two more then. We've got Kinsinga, Loa Loa, and Roberto Insigni. Now, Loa Loa, of course, will be familiar to a lot of people. Had a time at Brighton where he's done okay and he's come in on a free flipping transfer for around £9,000 a week. Not too bad. You can see him there. Looks still pretty good. And Roberto Insigni are related to, obviously, the better Insigni brother. Uh, but still, Roberto, not a bad player. Can play in all the forward areas. Attacking midfield, striker, that sort of thing. Uh, so he comes in as well. But that's not it, folks. We're not done there. Oh, no, we're not. The season-long loans. Now, this well, last season, of course, these were very, very useful. And we've managed to bring some more in. Adrian Mariapa, central defender. Will be familiar to a lot of you. Of course, Premier League experience. He's been brought in alongside Yeo. Uh, now, he's got a first name as well. El Eloge. Ayo, you can see him there, central defender from Inter Milan. Looks like he's going to be the business. I've not actually seen him this year on Football Manager, but my word, does he look like he could be very, very good indeed? And alongside him, then uh, we move into the midfield. Marco Toscano, Toscano, deep line playmaker, can play in the centre. We haven't got. I can reveal to you now, we haven't got Pantiso back, so we have to try and fill the gap with some midfielders. And uh, Tos Toscano is one of those. Also, Matteo Gasparoni, uh, defensive midfielder. I think these two midfielders together will be pretty good. You can see him on screen there, looking fabulous looking fantastic and i'm hoping we'll get a good season out of him uh moving slightly further further on a ball winner in david davis again familiar to a few of you uh obviously played for birmingham in real life and of course i've signed him from huddersfield so he should be uh, a really good addition to the squad him and david ivan the davids we'll call them the pro player in midfield at the same time together the playmaker again he's probably the, the natural replacement for a player like Pantisso, uh, but we'll play on probably the right side of a three in the midfield. You'll see the formation later on. Speaking of the formation, Ben, what's happened with the strikers? Well, I'll reveal now. Antonucci has left, and it was a choice. Do we bring in Elias Shabby? Shabby? Shabby, we'll go with. Or former Hall of Famer Danny Graham, of course, has featured in the Manchester United save, as well as having a very impactful moment in Parma drama. Now, back in Italy, Graham was obviously a decent choice. You can see the two here. Which one would you have gone with? Well, the, the answer is quite simple. I put it on Twitter, I asked who people thought, and I concluded both of them have been brought in. That hints there were the big money deals thing. So I, I made it as if well, we only signed one, but actually we signed both. Danny Graham and Elias Shabia. Shabia? Shabi? 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 Elias Shabi? Maybe. Okay, either or. They're in the van, they're with us now, and there you are then. That is the transfer rundown. Let's, though, hand back over to Ben and take you through the outs. There's been one or two or three or four. Five. So, folks, that then concludes the ins that we've had. Three million pounds spent. I also want to mention, because he's not on that page, uh, we also brought in or brought back Lorenzo Venuti, of course, a player that I absolutely adored last season at right back. Fiorentina have said, go on, have him for another year. I said, thank you very much. So, here he is. Still looking fabulous, still looking great, and hopefully, we'll have a good season for us. Now, speaking of the transfers, then I mentioned that, that there's been some outs as well as some ins, and uh, one or two big names have left the team. I say big names, players that have been quite pivotal have moved on. Uh, Paluso, who was a, a goalkeeper that you already saw he's gone to Leicester bizarrely uh the only player that I really think of note that's left on a free transfer um that's a bit of a heavy heart is Castanetti he was a decent player for us fitted in but you've seen we've brought in a lot of midfielders and, and frankly he's just not fitting the bill as far as the, the midfield are concerned take a look though at the other outs then Vicardi's left he's gone to Latino Calcio uh, a player that we played now and again at the back but didn't really feature all that much the big name obviously as I mentioned Antonucci's gone uh, had a great season for me last year 20 and 39 but I think if we look at his attributes you'd probably Probably agree He's, he ain't going to cut it in Serie A, and that's the problem I've got. Hence, we've brought in two strikers uh, elsewhere for big 
money then. Uh, Barney left. Matteo Barney, the centre back again. You've seen we've brought in some centre backs. He was available. Well, well I say available. He was wanted and two point five million for a player that featured a little bit for me last season. And I brought in on a free. I think we've done pretty good business there to move him on for some money, and it allowed us to bring in both strikers. And anyway, which I think we needed a little bit of help. So there you can see then there are the transfers on either end. Some big names have left. Some some decent ones have come in. Uh, I am really excited about Elias Sh Sh Shabby. Is it Shabby? I'm sure someone in the comments will help me out with that one. Physically very good, technically very good, mentors looking okay too. And people will say the Danny Graham transfer is purely sentimental. 500k, essentially if Sonny gets injured or something happens with a boat, sorry, that I managed to keep by the way, has been wanted by numerous clubs, Danny Graham is a good option. Like across the board, his attributes, as people are seeing his attributes now thinking, Okay, he's actually a little bit better than I anticipated. Four-star current ability, 33 years of age. We'll definitely get a year out of him. He's on a two-year deal as well. So I think we're looking okay. System-wise, formation-wise, things are looking as they were last year. But we're playing a false nine in the centre rather than a deep-lying forward or anything like that. Uh, and Insigne will largely play that role. Uh, Elias Shabby will play at some point. But we're going to stick with Adam LaFondra for now. I want to try and keep it relatively familiar. Uh, the lineup then, as our best 11, looks like this. Ushkani in goal, Venuti, Yayo and Chosa at the back. We've got Barloco at left back as well. Who, I'm not sure if he's going to be the first choice. I think he is. It's one area which I'm a little bit hit and miss on. We could maybe play Gianni there, but I think Barloco will get the start throughout the season. Sakor, Davis and Arini. Now, this midfield three will not be our familiar midfield three. I mentioned David Ivan before. He will definitely come in and feature looks really good and set to be really really good as well so he's going to feature in the middle more often than not as well as Gasparoni who we may well see there too another example of that could be Mariapa may well come in for Chiosa but I just quite like the fact he's left footed plays on the left hand side and has got decent marking tackling and heading ability uh, and up top then the Fondra and Signy and Seri but options on the bench to bring on Dorian Heiser is still with us as well developing nicely not nothing like outstanding just yet but he's still only 16 years of age and then, uh, if you, again, talking about Elias, he will obviously play a part this season too. So system-wise, formation-wise, team-wise, I think we have enough to start to stay up in Serie A. That's not necessarily the view of everybody, though. Uh, we're not predicted to, uh, to survive, but there are four teams, a thousand to one. As long as we're that 17th place team, this season will be a success. This season is a survival mission, and we kick things off today with that survival mission. Pre-season is done and dusted. It's gone quite well. We also went through in the Tim Cup, LaFondra and Seddy getting the goals, and we face off against Genoa in our first game of the season. Now, Genoa, mid-table side and said, yeah, a good judgment to how good we are in this division. There are four or five teams down here that we can probably beat. Genoa on the cusp of being something quite good, but aren't quite there yet, and this, ha this hand is demonstrating demonstrating that really but it is said to be an interesting game so let's waste no further time let's get straight into it you know it away ah, i'm a little bit apprehensive though because i just feel as if i feel as if if this goes badly what's the, what what's the comeback they've got Manoz, they've got Manegl, uh, uh, miguel veloso the familiar faces fitness wise are okay Sadi is obviously he's got very poor morale he wants to move to a bigger club no Sadi. that's it's quite simple but i was getting offers of sort of six seven million it wasn't enough. If, if I'll be honest now, twenty million, he could have gone. That was it. I was. I'd already. I'd decided. So we're sticking largely with the team that brought us up last year. There are a few areas that are weaker than others. I think midfield-wise, we can certainly strengthen in the future. Loa Loa is currently out for four weeks with a with a hamstring injury as well. He'll be back soon. Michael Kane still at the club as well, but he's out injured with with strained knee, uh, knee ligaments. Hopefully, he'll turn into a three-star player one day and maybe get a start in a game. Uh, right then, let's get into this then. So that submit team. Hopefully, now this is big. This is important. If we don't win this opening game, folks. Or not win, but if we don't... Just don't get embarrassed. What a thing to say after a promotion. Just don't get embarrassed, Ben. That in itself doesn't give me a lot of confidence. Okay, they're playing a 4-3-3 a three, three formation. Miguel Vaso is as good as anyone in our team, quite simply. And uh, Menard's at the back. Oh, Adam Lafondre. Good luck, Adam. Good luck. Up top, they've got Roberto Inglés, who, again, looks decent. Doesn't look that better than, like, Shabby, though, to be fair. And he's not even playing. I'm gonna, I might just call him Shabby. 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 I'll, I'll figure it out eventually. Right then, passionately say, go out there and, and impress everyone. What do you think about the transfers, though? Comment section. Good deals, bad deals. Is there any way you think we should have strengthened? I think across the board, we're looking pretty good. There, I know. I already know the area you're all going to say you should have got a better one of these. Goalkeeper. Situation is, they haven't really got any money. Uh, we should get money for staying in the... Hold, just hold that thought. 
that was nearly a bad start. We should get money for staying in the division. That's a bit quick. We should get money for staying in the division if we do so. Like financially, you get quite a bit of money for TV, about 17 million, and we're not spending loads on wages. I don't think anyone's over sort of. I don't think anyone's over 10,000 actually. So we're looking pretty good on that end. By the January window, we'll know if we need a new goalkeeper, and if we do, we'll ask the board for money and hopefully go out and get one. Which kind is good. But he's not, he's not Alex Merritt. So I guess we'll see. Who, by the way, got a massive, uh, big money move. As we go forward and Sydney's there. Oh my God. Okay, half an hour gone in this opening game of the Serie A season. And we're taking a 1 0 lead. And, and stats wise, we've had eight shots to their seven. Everything's looking. I, I, I good is the phrase I would use, although I'm hesitant to do so. Rini gets tackled, Seri crosses the ball in, and then Signy, as that sort of false nine, deeper lying player, gets in the middle and gets the finish. Lovely stuff. Well, I was talking about all things spell, and then all of a sudden we get a goal. And as I say like this now, they come forward. But Davis nips in there. He is going to be key this year. Ball over towards Lafondra, not quite finding the intended target, and now a chance for them to come forward. It's like, like, like it's, uh, maybe it's shot and goal, it hits the post wide. I think they've hit the bar twice now. Yes unlucky. Alright, we have the ball again though. Still the first half, 34 minutes on the clock. Sakur to Lafondre into Insigne. Oh my goodness gracious me. They've got a showering goal. That was quite the strike. Well, he jumped out of my flipping seat there. Goodness gracious. Alright, they're coming forward with it. We, we play quite an attacking style. I'm staying with the exact same style we had in Serie B. <sighs> Who do you blame? Who do you blame? Do you blame the fullback for bombing on? No, because that's the instruction I've got. Do you blame the goalkeeper for what I can only describe as a lack of effort. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, it's gone in. It's 1-1. One, one. Now, retrospectively, I should have come off attacking when we went 1-0 up. Um, too late for retrospectives, though. I certainly say, with the underdogs here, give the fans a performance to cheer for, and then passionately say, look, you weren't that bad, but I believe you, I believe you can still improve. Get out there. I've got faith in you. Now, Lafondre to come off at some point, pretty likely, for Shabley. It'll probably come on as... Um, can we find a goal in this first 20 seconds? No. No, we can't. We're still staying attacking, though. We're away from home. We're not afraid. Don't, for a second, get to thinking we're afraid. Beyonce. Change one of the lyrics. They're in on goal. Oh my, what a save. Best keeper in the league. Right, we're going to go to a standard system and then we're going to bring out Adam Lafondre early doors. He's on a 6.3. Let's get our best man out there and see what sort of job he can do. They are attacking with... That's a goal that's been shot straight at my goalkeeper. Roberto Inglés. He's, he's scored. I mean, it's a first time pass through to him and um, it's just a good finish. Goalkeeper-wise... <sighs> It's time for the candles, is it? Said yeah. Get the candles out. I mean, he looks he looks upset, but not as upset as I am. Right, we we play quite I'd say a relatively direct style, despite the fact we have no wingers. And uh, all of a sudden, since that first half where we look like easily the better side, all of a sudden we look under pressure. We're getting sucked in a lot to the ball, and it's giving them lots of space. It's a good save from the goalkeeper. I'm just pleased he's got hands still. All right, there's there's still a time and a chance to that's that's not gone. Arini's done well. Davis now. And here we go. The three-pronged attack. Can we get them involved, please? David. There we go. Arini. Forward with it now. Where is he going to go? Across to Sakor. He's got men ahead of him. Can he pick one out? Shabley's there. What's he going to do with it? Shabley. Across to Davis. Davis going to hit one. Do it. I dare you. Oh, it's poor. He's very poor. At what point do you bring Danny Graham on? That's the big question. 20 minutes to go. I think I think Graham comes on. He's a target man. He's got he's got a lot of arms and legs. So ball played in and Sydney's there. Oh, it's a block. When I said arms and legs, I mean he's got a lot of power. He's strong. He still needs to take the, the corner kick, whips it in. It doesn't actually beat the first man, really, and it's headed away. 25 minutes to go. It's nearly Graham time. All right, another highlight for us, though. This has been highlight filled. You've got to say this game, a lot of action. We're only playing one game today, and I'm pleased because there's so much going on. Arini, where's he going? Out to Seri. Now, here we go. Can we produce something again? This 4 3 3. Not many teams in Seri are play this, I can't imagine. Boloco into Davis. Where's he going to go now? Davis across to Arini. He's got options, but he, he gets tackled, and now, oh, God. Okay, we're under, we're under threat here. Stop him. There's so many of our players there. Why did that happen? Right, 22 minutes to go. Danny Graham on. I think we're going to get. Oh, it's tough. We'll get Insigne off. Uh, we're also going to bring on David Ivan. He's not the fittest player out there, but fitter than Sakor. And Ivan's got a little bit of an X factor. Danny Graham in the false nine. Goodness gracious me. Right, the, the, the substitutions haven't happened yet. There's another highlight for them. And if they score from it, it's a good save by the goalkeeper. Why do I keep sounding surprised? I think it's because I am a little bit surprised. Miguel Veloso, ball in. It's cleared. 20 minutes to go. Can we find a, a goal, an equaliser? They're forward again, this throw-in. I mean, he's in loads of space. <sighs> right then, well, I've made a change. I've brought Danny Graham on. 
as number 99, and uh, they've scored. I'm not sure we can blame Danny Graham for that one, but it is unfortunate timing. At the back post, goalkeeping-wise, he's just not trying. Okay, 15 minutes now. We'll go back to the attacking system that worked quite well in the first half, you've got to say. Um, but despite that, they've come back into the game quite well. And I say quite well, they're literally winning it now. So they weren't doing that in the first half. There's, there's not long to go. Do they really need a fourth goal? Apparently, apparently they do. So that makes it look less impressive. At 1-0 up, um, I was thinking Europe. Just didn't say anything. Just in, in worry this would happen. Clearly, just thinking it has caused this. It's not been the greatest display defensively from us. Um, there's, there's, that's 4-1. 4-1. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Bloody hell, it's going to be tough. All right, aggressive team talk. Far from please. Letting them know that that's not good enough. And, um, yeah, we're not bottom of the league. Fiorentina propping us up. Thank you for that. Any injuries coming in there? No? Good. The goal for Insigne. He's enjoyed 21 hours. Didn't know that before signing him. Just thought he'd scored nine. But apparently 21 hours. Not prolific then. Not prolific. Right, well, that is going to bring us to the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, let me know, transfer-wise, what do you think? The, win the, the window is shut so that we can do no more. I think overall we've got a decent side. When we get our, our best 11 out there, our best midfield three, I think we've got a chance. We may well have to drop Insigne slightly further back. We could indeed play wingers. We may have to drop Insigne back. We could indeed play wingers. So we've got a few options there as well. When Luala was back, that opens up a few opportunities for us too. And you can really see from, from the players that are on the bench today, we can play a better starting 11. I was just giving the boys who got us a bit of a chance. They won't be getting that chance again. And we will be back again for the games probably in a few weeks' time. We'll, we'll bring you a bigger game. We'll play Lazio and maybe Bologna in there as well, maybe Piscada because they're a team that got promoted with us and then uh, that sets up quite nicely for a sort of an interview Juve Roma mishmash. Anyway, that's what we'll do then. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, as I say, do leave a like. If you want to see some more, subscribe to the channel We Love With Care. From me, Dr. Benji, until next time, I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. 4-1's not a good start, is it? Just sort of by anybody's standards.